So you want to get into cybersecurity. You want to join the Army. You want to become a warrant officer. So check this out. I have the solution for you. Hard work, hard work. Earn my pay. Hard work, work. Hard work. Do it every day. Hard work, work. Get up out of court in the three. Hard work, work. Ready to go. So we have what we call cyber warfare technician. That's 170 Alpha, 170 A on the warrant officer side. You want to get into cyber? This is the way, the military way, the only way, the army way. So you want to become a warrant and you want to get into cyber. You want to go 170 Alpha. The cyber warfare technician is the army's offensive and defensive side of cyber. I'm not going to go really in detail what they do or what we do. But if you want to get into the little darkness of hacking, the Harry Potter wizardry stuff, this is where you go. Um, it's actually pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool MOS. Um, you will learn a lot of the trace tools or, or hacking tools, such as Metasploit. Um, you'll get pretty good with Nmap reading cap pcap files and so forth so i'm actually going to read this verbatim on what it actually is 170 alpha cyber warfare technician performs as a subject matter expert and advisor to the commander and staff regarding the employment of offensive and defensive cyber operation assets and personnel directs plans administers manages integrates and assesses cyberspace operations blah 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 so more or less, you're going to be on an offensive team or a defensive team, either what we call threat hunting or doing magical, mystical stuff. But you just can't jump right into this. So there are some prerequisites. As in my video I posted before on how to become a warrant officer, your basic prerequisites, this MOS takes a little bit more. So first, first and foremost, you have to make sure that you can, you're eligible to get a TS security clearance. Not just a TS, but TS SCI, first and foremost. You don't need that to become a warrant, but to become a signal warrant and cyber warrant, you have to get that, especially cyber. You have to be eligible for a TS SCI. That's first and foremost. So a little bit about cyber. This is the newest branch out there. Uh, it was actually established in well, September 1st, 2014, first and foremost. So you'll be one of, the, one of the elite of the brand new branch that is just now instituted in the Army. Number two, now when you go to your Warrant Officer Basic course, like when you go to your candidate course, that's its own a lot of time between six weeks, five weeks, and seven weeks. When you go to your basic course, you're looking at easily 19 weeks. 19 weeks pretty much straight through, no breaks. From what I understand, it, it isn't phased. Phase one, two, and three that you can break it up. I believe you have to go straight through. So be prepared for that. You have to be at least an E5 to put in your packet. Also, if you have any civilian experience or any experience from your career Let's say if you were 25 Delta, you have that experience, you have SANS training, any in institutional training or industry training, that will pad your packet, make you more eligible. Also, you have to have a level two certification. Level two, so level two or above. Security Plus covers that, that's pretty much the, the Army standard on level two you must have Security Plus or above. So if you have Security Plus, check the box. If you have CASP, level three, check the box. If you have CISSP, level three, check the box. If you have CISM, I believe that checks the box. And I think CEH might check the box. Also, from your evaluations, you have to have at least three years of rated time. So at least as an E5, you have to have at least three NCOERs. Now we're back to that letter of recommendation. If you've seen my video before, 
kind of have given you some stepping stones on how to obtain a letter of recommendation, but that's to become a warrant. This is another letter of recommendation. So if you're becoming a warrant, going through Warrant Officer Canada course and becoming a warrant to go through the 170 route, this would be your letter of recommendations right there. If you're switching over from another MOS or branch, such as Signal, then you'll be doing another set of letters of recommendation. But you need a letter of recommendation from at least the CW3 to CW5. Sometimes it's harder to find a three to five that's in the cyber field because that's what they prefer. Someone who's in the cyber field to write you that letter of recommendation. So they're, they don't want you to get a letter of recommendation from a transportation warrant because he has nothing to do with the MOS. But since they know that it's so hard, I believe you can get a letter of recommendation from a signal warrant. 255 Alpha, 255 November, and they can speak on your behalf. Also, you're going to need a letter of recommendation from your commander. Also, if you're switching over from, let's say, the Marines, the Navy, or any other branch, as long as you can substantiate your training and your qualifications, they will suffice. But they are very adamant. I won't say adamant. What looks very good is if you have industry certifications. Like I said, CASP, CISSP, CEH, SANS course is a big plus. A big plus. Also, yes, they want E5 and above, but if you are an E4, your stellar E4, that can be wavered. That can be wavered. We're on case by case. Case by case scenario. But that's pretty much the gist of becoming a cyber warrant. So you have to have the prerequisites to become a warrant in general, and then you have to pass these prerequisites. Oh, let me not forget, a lot of times there's a questionnaire that you have to fill out in your packet. There's a questionnaire, especially if you're branching over from another branch, let's say if you're coming from MI, because we get a lot of guys from MI, and from Signal, there's a questionnaire you have to fill out. Then that all gets submitted in the packet. The packet goes forward. It goes across the board. And then we see what happens. But this is what you need to become a cyber, cyber warfare technician. Warrant 170 Alpha. And if you have any questions for me, leave the questions down in the bottom in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, if you like these kind of videos, I haven't said this before. If you like these kind of videos, um, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, hit the like button, give me some thumbs up on some of these. I'm going to try to put out more content. And if you can, leave in the com comments on information you would like to know about, especially about warrant officers. But military in general, try to keep it on the Army side. If you want to touch Marines, I can deal with that. But whatever you want to know, just give me some ideas. And everybody, you have a good day. God bless, and it's a pleasure to serve.